You know, violent extremism is about people who use violence to try to bring about political change. Uh, now, the problem in America is you have these individuals who are attracted to these ideas, uh, yet uh, they fly under the radar until something violent occurs, like the Boston Marathon bombing or the terrible shooting in the church in Charleston uh, earlier this year. Uh, so the Obama administration believes, and I agree uh, with them, that a good strategy is to have police working with communities to try to both prevent the spread of these extremist ideologies uh, and also maybe to identify uh, people who are headed in that direction and to stop them before they do something violent. We did a nationwide survey of police departments and we talked to police and Muslim Americans all over the country to talk uh, about these issues. And we found a couple of things. First of all, um, only about half the police departments were actually working with communities to try to prevent uh, violent extremism. Second of all, uh, very few, if any, uh, police departments were working on the issue of right-wing, anti-government, racist kind of violent extremism. Mostly were focused on uh, extremism uh, inspired by Al-Qaeda or ISIS. Uh, and then with respect to trying to work with Muslim Americans to prevent uh, Al-Qaeda and ISIS related extremism, uh, we found that police departments really need to be more sensitive to the concerns of Muslim Americans if they're going to build trust and then work together to prevent this kind of violence. You know, the decade and a half since 9-11 has really been pretty tough on Muslim Americans. Uh, we've had negative portrayals of Islam in the media, harassment of individuals at the airports, societal discrimination, inflammatory statements by political leaders. Uh, so a lot of Muslim Americans don't know if the government is something to be feared or if the government is uh, willing and wants to work with Muslim Americans to try uh, to solve this problem. So what's really important is for the police to work with Muslim Americans to try to build trust. And when trust is built, uh, then there are many problems of public safety, including uh, terrorism and violent extremism uh, that can be addressed. First of all, it makes sense for local police to take the lead in these efforts. Uh, they're in the communities all the time, they have lots of officers, and they're not responsible for things that can undermine trust like airport security or uh, FBI sting operations. Uh, second, uh, what's most important is for the police to explain to Muslim Americans that they are there uh, as public servants uh, to provide services to their constituents and that treat Muslim Americans uh, like they do everybody else. Uh, and that is to provide protection and provide services to them. And when the communities start working together with the police on these public safety issues, the suspicion can really melt away. We think when the police and the communities work together on public safety issues, they build a solid relationship. It's much better than the, having the police come and say, well, let's work together on terrorism, because then you're accusing the community of being potential terrorists, and that's not the way uh, to get started. But once you have that trusted relationship, you can start having some difficult conversations. You know, no Muslim American wants their kid to end up getting on a plane to uh, go fight for ISIS in Syria. But that's happened uh, to over 50 Muslim uh, communities uh, so in just the past 18 months. Uh, and also the Muslim Americans very much want to prevent more violent extremism in the United States. Uh, so, but those are difficult conversations to have. Once you have that relationship though, uh, police and communities can talk about how to prevent extremist ideas and how to identify people who are headed down a pathway towards violence.